Hey there, bold one. Okay, so this is part three of a three-part series on the Actors Mindset Reset. And today is the final episode. It is the last piece of the puzzle to help you to reset your mindset <laughs> and get rid of those limiting beliefs that are keeping you from what you actually want. So if you haven't already seen parts one and two, I highly recommend that you go back and watch those before you watch this. The links will be in the show notes. Okay, so let's get into it. So what do you need to do to change your life to be able to make your dream a reality? What are the beliefs that you need to take on in order to make the changes that you want? In order to make the changes, in order to make those changes, you actually need to get crystal clear on what you want. This is super important because if the effort and the investment that you have made in your career up until this point has gotten you this far, but not as far as you would like, then what are the changes that you need to make to get to the next level? In other words, what's the strategy that you need to get from where you are now to where you want to go? What does it actually even mean to change your strategy in such a way that it makes a huge impact on your career? You know, my grandma gave me one of the two best pieces of advice I ever got in my life. And the first one was when I was a teenager, I was having problems with my mom and I went to complain to my grandma, her mother about her. And my grandma said to me, honey, if you don't like the way your mom is reacting to what you're saying and doing, then you got to give her something else to react to. And it took me a long time to understand that. And I'm not going to lie and say I understood it as a teenager, but as an adult, wow, mind blowing. I mean, just amazing advice. So, you know, I think Einstein also said something along the lines of the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. So if you're not happy with where your career is, you need to stop, take a minute, take some stock and think about what isn't working. What are the pieces that aren't working for you right now? And then what is within your power to fix that? What is within your power to do something about that? That's what you need to figure out. So just to recap, so part one of this three-part series was all about discovering what your limiting beliefs actually are, those things that have been holding you back, those beliefs that you have made a part of yourself that are actually like obstacles, stones in the road, you know, tripping you up and blocking your way. Then what you need to do is create the vision of the life that you want, like declare it, say, I want, be very specific, right? Because the universe is a funny, fickle little fairy, right? It, she will give you what you ask for. So if you're not asking for the right things, then you're probably not going to get them. So be very specific. And then the other part of that is what are the things that you can be doing to get what you want? Because wishing something into an existence is not going to happen. Wishing for something to be true is just a dream. I don't believe in pursuing your dreams. I believe in setting goals. So if you found this episode series at all helpful, I would love it. If you are watching this on YouTube, if you could leave a comment, let me know, like, what were your light bulb moments about this series? What did you find to be your limiting beliefs? I find that we actors have a lot of the same ones, a lot of the same things trip us up. So I'd be curious to know what are your limiting beliefs? And if you're listening to this on any number of podcast tools. Make sure please to rate and review the podcast. I don't have any advertising whatsoever. And I've been doing this for over a year now. And so it would really mean the world to me if those of you listening or watching would take the time to let me know that you're out there and let me know what you think of the podcast and what you would like me to make a podcast on next. That would also be really, really a great thing to know. And I have a new cohort of my course, Get Better Roles, starting on April 15th. So if you are a trained actor, you are going to want to listen up. 
I want you to know you are one audition away from getting the role that could change your life. And the fastest, most efficient way to get there is to understand and articulate what makes you different, what makes you stand out, what makes you unique, what I like to call your energetic signature, and I sometimes also refer to as your unicorn factors, what those things are, and then infuse that into all of your marketing materials. So your, your headshots, your showreels, your emails, your postcards, your profiles on the different acting portals and things like that everywhere. And then of course, once your mindset is in place, and that's what this series was about, right? Starting to get your mindset in the right spot. Then your branding needs to be on point. Then it makes it very easy to infuse that into all of your marketing materials. And when those three things have been taken care of, you can then move on to networking, like tracking down the people, <laughs> tracking them down, track them down, right? Tracking down the people who are, are in a position to move the needle on your career and begin to cultivate relationships with them. That's how you will go from being an invisible actor to becoming an in-demand actor. So again, I hope that helps you stay your bold and beautiful self. I will see you very soon.